Up today, my name is Nick Santos. I'm a local artist and graphic designer. My inspiration for this particular project was uh, first to provide a piece of art and Guam that islanders and visitors alike could take home with them. And secondly was to provide awareness for the rhino beetle epidemic that's hit close to home that may change our island landscape forever. I used young palm leaves from when the coconut's young and it just sprouts. I used some of those and actually went into the jungle to find some even smaller ones that had developed already and the leaves were still fresh. The rhino beetles don't get to those ones as, as, as soon. My thoughts on the local art scene are we need more venues to help promote our local artists. It's hard enough for us to get our names out there and if we had places like Pika's Cafe to promote us and help showcase our talents, then we would take giant steps forward. And if we had a year-round gallery where we could present yearly or maybe even monthly, then I'm sure other artists would be inspired to come out and, and give it a shot. My advice to the younger artists is to take the risk and stick with it, and the rewards are, are much worth it. <laughs> My favorite thing to eat at Pika's Cafe is a half bulgogi bowl and half pork belly. Uh, Lenny did something really creative with the, the pork belly and, and how he prepares it, and it's, it's very unique. It's not what you're used to with the local barbecue pork belly. Thank you to Opaque Art Shop for helping me get the supplies I needed, and thank you to my young daughters for continuing to inspire me and pushing me to get out there and, and get in the community and give back. <laughs>